Good morning, Fearless Fam. I am at Oakland International Airport right now, getting ready to head out to Phoenix and then Tucson. Go watch my pack with me video. I kind of go into a little more detail about what I'm doing and what I'm expecting to do there. It's gonna be a really fun trip and I'm doing travel vlogs the whole time, so welcome. It is currently around 6.45 a.m. I got through security way faster than expected and now I have a lot of time to kill, which is very typical. Since I do deal with anxiety, I tend to plan too much time to get to the airport because I'm like, oh, if this happens, we'll need an extra 10 minutes. And then I just tack on 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 10 minutes, and eventually I'm at the airport like an hour before I need to be. But you know, that's cool. <laughs> If you did watch my pack with me video yesterday, you might remember me packing a set of nail clippers and saying you have no idea how many times I've used these randomly on my trip. I broke a nail in line at security and cut it in the bathroom just now. So it was actually very handy dandy. And then I brushed my teeth so I feel all fresh right now. Then just like the no makeup makeup look. I'm sweat city like I <laughs> expected. I'm always sweaty at the airport. Um, I ended up taking a lift this morning. I was going to do BART. Um, BART now has like a shuttle that makes getting to Oakland super easy. But I ended up taking a lift because it was like almost the same price as BART and then I didn't have to make Eric drive me. He already has a full day ahead of him so that worked out really well. Abe was obviously a little sad this morning and uh, I'm already caffeinated in case you can't tell. I'm sure you can tell. I had that iced coffee from Star Starbucks, like the, the Starbucks bottled one. I had that at home and then I had like a little piece of toast. But yeah, it's gonna be a pretty like laid back morning of just a lot of waiting because basically I have to wait here. My flight leaves in about hour 15-ish. Then I'm gonna arrive and my friend is getting a rental car but it's gonna take a few hours for her to get to me. I'm gonna have to wait at the airport for a little bit. So I'm planning on doing a little work even though I have pretty much everything scheduled to go up anyways. And then we are going to drive to our friend's house. It's, it's her friend more than mine. She grew up with her but the friend of a friend became my friend too in college. So yeah, we're gonna go spend the day with her in Phoenix I'm excited and then tomorrow we're gonna drive down to Tucson and that's where I'm gonna spend the majority of my trip I'm in like this super random area right now it's like not even a gate with my feet up on my suitcase because the gate that my flight is going out of is like the most awkward gate in the world I they all stared at me when I walked in I was like am I in China like really I'm like the only one there who's not over 40 or has a kid so that's fun but that's why I'm hanging out here because my gate is very awkward and I'm just gonna put off sitting over there as as possible and I kind of have a feeling that the reason there's so many random young people scattered throughout this area is because they are also at the awkward gate so here we are at the misfits section so my flight got delayed but it's not really that big of a deal because I'm gonna have to wait when I get to Mesa anyway so whatever <laughs> always gotta touch the outside of the plane for good luck <laughs> first sign of weird looking cacti you guys. I, I'm a big fan of cacti because I don't see them very often. We don't really have a ton in California, like Southern California more than Northern, but oh, by the way, I made it, I'm in Mesa. Oh, I didn't tell you guys that. So this is the Phoenix Mesa Gateway Airport, it's called. There's also the Phoenix, I think it's the Skyline Airport, I think it's called. I actually flew into Mesa because it was significantly cheaper. My friend is gonna pick me up. She flew into Phoenix, and then we're gonna drive into, I don't know where in Phoenix, but somewhere to see our friend tonight. Here is the airport. I'm trying to hold out because Megan and I are gonna go get some fast food and make it a little cheaper. Oh, also, I changed out of my leggings and into bare legs. How exciting. I can't remember the last time I shaved above my knee, so it was a big deal. Score. Mm. Iced tea here is cheaper than water, so that's good because I needed caffeine anyways. So this is almost it for this airport. Oh, you're welcome to board at 8.5. I think this is only like a couple buildings, maybe, and it's like a lot of outdoor stuff here, I've noticed. So the airport's pretty small and cute. I've got about an hour to wait here. So I am just gonna park myself next to some kind of power outlet and be on social media. It's so different here because it's so flat and then they've got these like crazy rock formations like all over the desert areas. But yeah, I'm not from a desert, so deserts fascinate me. Also, my hair is shorter. Did you notice? 
I cut it myself yesterday. Guys, I found more cacti. Oh, I like these kind. I think those are like edible. Those are the kind they make like food, cactus food stuffs from. Ooh, look at that one, that's crazy. And then these huge ones that look like giant churros. I'll be sure to get myself a churro when I'm in Arizona. Yes, I love when airports have these. So cool, look at that. Helped eliminate waste from 179,000 disposable plastic bottles. Mm -hmm. So I'm just outside, just strolling around. I was tired of sitting. I'm just hanging out outside. They have like this courtyard area between the two buildings of this airport. I'm just kind of wandering to be honest, but I wanted to have a quick chat with you guys. The last few hours I've been thinking a lot about what it is that makes me really anxious when I travel. Number one, deciding what time to leave to go to the airport. Second thing is what I was talking about in my pack with me video, which is preparing my bags to go through the x-ray at security and holding up a line behind me. Now that I'm traveling today, I realize there's a couple other things that make me really anxious. And the biggest one is thinking about what I'm leaving behind. And it's not like I'm on some epic trip and I'm never gonna see my husband and my dog again. I realize that. But it's more that like when I'm at home, I have responsibilities and when I leave, I'm kind of in a way shucking those responsibilities and it makes me feel a little guilty and it makes me feel like if something were to go wrong I would blame myself for it and so that's a source of anxiety for me. I'm glad I'm documenting this because I feel like I would never would have remembered this otherwise. So yeah I'm just working through it in my brain. I'm not gonna go too into detail on this but once I hit a point in my life where I recognized my anxiety for what it was and started kind of working on my brain and learning how to process things mentally that's how I'm now, years later at this point where I can be like, yeah, I have anxiety right now, but I'm taking a deep breath and I'm dealing with it, you know? I know a lot of you guys ask me, you know, how do you deal with travel anxiety and all that kind of stuff? I can give you guys lots of coping mechanisms that are like tangible, like essential oils and reading books and all that kind of stuff. But when it really boils down to the heart of it, it's something you have to work on over a long period of time in your own head. You have to relearn how to process things and how to react to things. Hi, little bird friend. What are you doing? You're so pretty. Hola, xiaopengyo. Also, there are like hella cactuses out here. And I'm very curious, these ones, these giant tall ones in the wild, do these just fall over? Or they have like deep roots? Because it's really tall and they've got support beams on here because it's smaller at the bottom than it is in the middle. But like in the wild, how do these things, do they fall over a lot? I have a lot of questions about cacti. Whoa, what's that? What's that guy? This one's weird, it looks like a dinosaur. I really need to tan my legs, you guys. This is bad. You wanna meet my friend Megan? Hi. This is Megan. She's my friend from college. I'm sure I have mascara on my face. Nope, just sweaty. Change of plans for the rental car. I will explain-ish later. It's not that interesting to you guys, I'm sure. Um, but look. Ooh. I know you had to push on the brake and then push this. Ha-ha! What? Oh have you ever God. seen something so no. fancy? Eric's brother got a rental car when he visited us in San Francisco a while back and he couldn't figure out how to turn it on. So eventually I did. Hi Lions viewers. We're at a Wendy's. Ooh so the whole rental car thing. Basically, Megan showed up in Phoenix. She had a car reservation for rental and they were like, well, we don't have any rental cars. They gave her phone numbers with three other places. They didn't have any rental cars. So she took an Uber all the way from the Phoenix airport to the Mesa airport, come get me. I was like, why are you with a driver? And she's like, oh, this is my friend David. And it was her Uber driver. And now we are in a rental car that we got in Mesa and I'm driving because we had to put on my credit card. And then there was this whole thing where like Megan's insurance wasn't gonna work. Work, so we had to do it on my insurance. So now I'm driving and then eventually Megan will drive and it's all gonna be good. I've looked at my analytics and more than 50% of the people who watch my videos are men. Nobody you see in this video is single, so don't even. <laughs> Technically in Phoenix? Yeah. It's kind of confusing. Phoenix has like a bunch of different neighborhoods. We're at our friend's house. We're gonna go hang out. Meet Scrappy. He's been around. He's got a lot of memorabilia from various trips on him. If you don't know what this is or who I'm talking about, go watch my road trip across America vlog. I think that's when I had to do it. And it's in my wedding vlog. <laughs> Gotta get 
on my horse and go to the 7-Eleven. It's time. <laughs> Behind me, there is a bunch of people on horses outside of 7-Eleven. You guys see that right there? That is actually a fake palm tree. It's a cell phone tower. We have some fun things planned tonight, so get ready. <laughs> I feel like Megan's always gonna be doing weird stuff behind me. <laughs> So we are going to this place called Tacos Kisi, and apparently it's super good. It has actually incredible views on Google and Yelp, <laughs> and they have Mexican food and sushi. I'm excited to try this, and it says it's good when you're on a budget, and we're all on a budget, so this will be good. <laughs> Look how pretty the sky got. I do have to hand it to Arizona. They got some good sunsets here. But more importantly, we're about to go get tacos and sushi. Oh my god, you guys. Um, I ate like half of this really rushed and uh, I forgot to show it to you. This is charros beans. They have like bacon and I don't know what. It's really good though. And then we got tacos. I have two more in here. Chips, salsa. <laughs> so while I'm eating tacos, some of my friends are eating sushi. Everyone's got different stuff. I have to admit I've never eaten tacos at a restaurant. Uh, next to someone who is eating sushi. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry, Jess. Thank wow, you. Oh boy. Yeah. Okay, it's really good. The tacos are amazing. So I'm gonna turn off the camera and I'm about to get down on this. Um, so apparently this is a Sonoran hot dog. I have heard about these and never seen one or eaten one before. They're magic. Every single bite I ate here was delicious. And the next up on the menu for me is a churro. <laughs> They also have ice cream here. <laughs> a churro! <laughs> now we are at a place called Castles and Coasters. It's in Phoenix, we're still in Phoenix. They have mini golf, they have this like climbing thing up here which is crazy looking. This thing is huge. What the heck? They have like this huge arcade thing in here. Megan just hit it like across the barrier so she didn't have to go around this like barn thing. I'd like to show you what happens when Megan gets up to that. <laughs> Everyone runs. Good morning Fearless fam. It is another beautiful, clear, sunny day in Phoenix. We are actually headed down to Tucson today. If everything goes well, we're actually gonna go an hour past Tucson to go see something really interesting and then come back to Tucson when our friend is off of work. So everything did go well. We did get to go to that interesting place. If you follow me on Facebook or Snapchat, you definitely know where I went. But you gotta wait till tomorrow. Thank you for watching today, guys. I've got a lot of awesome Arizona footage coming up for you. So I will see you tomorrow. Okay, bye.